Ah, Marcia, um, girl. Whew. I admired all the work that you did because you were always wanting to help others, you know, and, and you've show, shown me how to live, actually, uh, with all of your uh, ailments and your disability, your all of your strokes. <clears throat> Uh, you've been in a wheelchair and, and getting up out of that wheelchair and walking again uh, to your diabetes and your blindness and with all your aches and pains, your knee, your back, your shoulder, you just power through and you got things done and I admired you for that. You were a great advocate, a great person in general and a very, very great friend to me. <clears throat> you were more than a friend, you were a sister. You were always willing to help the less fortunate children, the elderly, anybody that needed your help. You extended your hand and you got the job done. Um, I am honored to have been your friend for over 50 years. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to let you know that I love you to the moon and back a million times over. And I know that now that you're happy because you're with your grandmother, Jen, and you're at peace, you're now going to be a guide for me and others, you know, because I believe in that. I believe in angels, and you are truly an angel, Mercy. Uh, girl, I'm going to miss you because I talk with you every day. I'm going to miss our talks. <laughs> you fought the good fight, and you won. And I know that now you're at peace. So since you're at peace, I'm at peace. Love you, girl. See you on the other side.